Joe Jai. Welcome back to the channel. You already know what time it is, man. It's your boy Big back at it again with another banger. You heard? I'm gonna keep it simple. On this video, we're gonna be rebuilding the car back there. So let me let me go ahead and tell you a little bit what's going on. Started doing a swap on them. I sold the engine about a month and a half ago or so, maybe almost two months. Came out to be either the person that he uh, took it to. Never got to like obviously they started, but they never finished it. The engine is tilted, literally. It's not even in. Uh, transmission is not on. Everything is just all over the place. It's missing ball, all kinds of stuff. So I ended up, he ended up calling me, asking me uh, if I could do it. So we ended up coming to a plan where uh, I'm gonna go ahead and get this done for him. I'm gonna do the complete swap, put everything back on, figure out where everything goes because nothing is labeled. So that's what we have with this car right now. We finna start right ahead. I'm gonna try to start, uh, we mounting the transmission, connecting it to the engine. Stay tuned. Let's get to it. Hit the like button if you've gotten this video. Subscribe, all that. So I'm putting on these bolts now. Transmission bolts. And I'm joking, it's just a pain in the ass. But we under here, y'all. We got the transmission in. Excuse me. Can't literally got no space under here. We got the transmission in. Um, it's just a pain in the ass. I'm literally doing it by myself. So. Um, but we got it in there, you know what I'm saying? So, thank God we got that in. Um, so, we just got one more bolt on this side. Um, it's going in pretty slow, but other than that, we got most of it done, y'all. We got most of it done. Uh, dry stuff is in. Uh, bracket is in. Obviously, we got to put the bolts on there. And then we should be good, though. But most of the stuff is in. So, let's finish uh, mounting this up, and we should be good, y'all. All right, fellas, so uh, we got the engine and the transmission bolted. We ran into the problem where uh, the goddamn, I put the, the transmission in, but I didn't line up the torque converter. So that was a pain in the ass. Uh, ended up giving up yesterday. I say, fuck it. I'm gonna take that shit out tomorrow anyway. So I had to inspect it. So I went and did that. Uh, we inspected, make sure the transmission was in there good. Uh, took it back out, uh, lined it up, got the bolt. Now. Home is missing a lot of bolts, so I gotta figure out how am I gonna get those bolts. I don't know if I wanna take it out of my car in the meantime. Fellas, when I tell y'all, this dude, I don't like throwing shades on nobody though, but this dude messed up a lot of shit. So, feature right here, that, that uh, is cracked. The auto sensor, the upper auto sensor stream uh, connector is messed up as well. Um, you got nearly all everywhere all everywhere literally when i tell you, you got all everywhere you do you got this broken you got a spl uh, splice wire in here like it's just a lot of stuff that normally i wouldn't do i wouldn't even take you know what i'm saying a job like this by no means i'm not no like professional mechanic or nothing like that but it's so much work so we're missing a lot of bolts we're missing a lot of shit so you know he snapped the the covers for the uh, for the manifolds for the exhaust manifold so that's that um again it's just a lot of shit that is cracked you see this right here it's messed up as well um it's just a lot so hopefully i can get this car back in one piece with everything i got so we're missing um i would try to crank it on eventually but we're missing the torque converter uh i do got to clean out this connector so yeah, it's uh, it's it's a mess, y'all. It's a mess. So people, uh, truthfully, if you don't know what you're doing or you don't want really want to deal with it, don't take a job like this if you ain't, you know, trying to uh, get it done. Cause you know, if you're gonna do something, just do it right. Figure it out. Ask questions. Uh, whatever the case may be, but you gotta figure it out. You can't just leave shit. You know, what I'm saying like this at this point. Ever needed, uh, if you put your transmission on, just for any automatic cars, if you put your transmission on and you end up struggling, trying to uh, align the torque converter on, it's pretty simple. Pretty sure your starter is already out. So you can just loosen up the transmission bolt back here, like all around to a certain amount. And then uh, you can wiggle this bad boy out. Just wiggle it to the point where it's like detached from the engine. 
you know what I'm saying? And then after that, you can align two of the balls on each side. And once you align the two balls on this side right here, like just on the side, whichever ones you find, once you align this two, either one of these on um, each side, literally, all you gotta do is just uh, put your hand right where the starter goes up here. Literally, you put your hand in there and then you will be able to uh, twist the torque converter until you find, until you align the ball that goes to the engine and the uh, pressure plate. So it's pretty, it's pretty simple though. So, and it does a trick though. I did it for me. I didn't have to take the trying to reach all the way out, which it was perfect. When I tell you that I'm highly concerned over what the fuck is going on. Look at this. Look at this. Like, come on now. We'll have to figure it out, bro, because we need to get this done. And we also need to make sure. So, like I told the customer, uh, we're going to have to literally replace our entire harness regardless. And trust me, I don't want to do that. But it is what it is. It needs to be done, bro, because this ain't going to cut it. Personally, for me, it ain't going to cut it. I don't like it. And, you know what I'm saying? If I'm going to do something, I'm going to do it right. Simple as that. So, it, it's just crazy. Always clean your throttle bodies for real, though. That's a lot of people put the holes right back just like that make sure you clean these joints they look a lot better perform a lot better when you clean them just saying it's a take two yesterday when i put the other one uh we did a take one i mean uh the crankshaft sensor wasn't in there so hopefully right now we can crank this baby on. So let's see what happens. like that is on fellas engine is good everything seems to be good now we got to button up put the exhaust on a few connections that need to be replaced there's a few little things here and there that got to be fixed but y'all seeing y'all seen the first hand man she's on we got to get um most of everything connected we got a torque converter bowl that we got to put on uh we need a few bowls for the ac connect ac compressor uh, a few other things that uh the customer didn't have it but it is what it is. Um, I was the one that sold in the engine. That used to be the engine I was gonna do the VHR swap on my 350C. Most of the front end, y'all, is uh, put on. It's a lot of stuff I gotta figure out where it goes. Uh, Cause again, nothing was labeled personally. Um, I only work on one of these cars. Uh, obviously I work on a lot of G35 and all of that, but this G37, it changes slightly from the 350Z, 370s and all that. It changed a little bit, so. Uh, it's a few steps we got to figure out where to go um but for the most part you know the whole front core support is connected um headlights are in then the last thing is going to be we're going to go under and just go ahead and finish all the braces all the ready uh transmission brackets and stuff and put everything back together and that's it yeah so we're going to continue them all near humans Please figure out how you take these bolts and stuff out. Cause bro, look at this. Cause at the end of the day, then I gotta struggle to put this shit on. I think this makes sense. But um, so far y'all, we're literally done all the way back there. So most of the stuff is done. Just like that, she's done. Obviously, we got a few little things we got to uh, fix and put on, which is this hose right here. He don't have it. We need the connectors for right here. We need another connector right over here. So, there's a few things that he's going to have to figure that out himself. 
uh, that connector right there is also broken. Um, car is completely put back together. Um, we still need one of the torque converter bolts. I don't have them. I was going to take one out of my seat, but that shit was being a pain in the ass. So uh, I opt out to do that. So he's going to have to figure that out himself. Get it, uh, get the torque converter bolts and I'll mount it for him or whatever. The car is done. Uh, still has a few vacuum leaks like right here uh, because that's cracked. Um, what else? Uh, we still need that torque converter bolt. Car is ready to go. This bumper don't even fucking fit because all of the brackets is fucked up. So if you look at this, this engine has literally no sound other than this vacuum leak right here. Um, engines just sound amazing. Again, that was the engine of going on my 350Z on my VHR swap, but that didn't end up happening. It's here, so. Let's take this baby for a little drive. Uh, let me show y'all, let me show y'all. She running the temperature, everything seems to be good, so we're finna take it for a little quick, a little drive, so. Stay with me, y'all, stay with me. You can even feel this car, bro. All right, we got the car in reverse. Let's take this bad boy for a drive. He playing with me, bro. Shouldn't take it for a little mile drive, nothing crazy. I don't, I'm not doing no pulls in it. It's not my car, so don't be all salty. You can hear the uh. Like saws dangling and shit, but not bad. Hmm. She's all in my ass though. I see I made it this far in the video, man. Hit the like button, subscribe, do all of that, cause I'ma see you on the next one.